y'all happy wednesday and welcome to another vlog so i just got a couple packages that i wanted to open on camera with you all so here we are <laughs> not doing anything vlog worthy today except opening these packages so <laughs> this is my first box and this is actually pr from house of siage i do know what it is they didn't tell me they were sending it to me i just got a shipping notice um but on the shipping notice it they included a slip so i know what it is but I will show you all. So of course it comes in this beautiful box. While I'm opening this, let me just say, today I washed my hair, that's why it looks like this. <laughs> it actually doesn't look that bad, but I like it to be bigger than this. So I'll go ahead and show y'all the wrap. And they sent me two other items from the Batman collection. So I already got the Batman feminine fragrance. They sent me the male fragrance, which I will be smelling and giving to my husband. And they also sent me the lipstick case and refill. So this is the fragrance and this is the lipstick case, which I've never tried their lipstick cases or their lipstick. So I am excited to try that too. And I'm excited to smell the Batman for men because I like the one for women. And the one for men, the notes look really nice. So I think that I will like that one as well. And my husband gets a little gift out of this. <laughs> Unless I like it for myself, but I'm probably just gonna give it to him um, depending on how it smells, you know. If there's something I don't think he'll like, then I will wear it probably, but this is what it looks like. That is really pretty. So the men fragrances come in these little flasks. I mean, I love the flask. I don't really care for the symbol but i can see how people would love it if you're really into batman um so i've never tried one of these let's see how do i open this oh okay that's cool so you just push this back and then there's an the atomizer there so let's spray the box actually i'm gonna spray a piece of paper instead okay that does smell very good and very masculine <laughs> so this will definitely be going to my husband Right off the bat, it smells kind of aromatic, but I'm also smelling something, um, what is it? There's a note that I feel like I know, but I cannot put my finger on it, but it kind of has that hay type smell, which sounds weird, but it works in a lot of fragrances to me. This definitely has that cologne type vibe to it, but there's something deep and a little bit sweet to it as well. Definitely smells like a men's fragrance. I like this. I really really like this so i'm excited for him to play around with this i would not wear this myself it definitely smells too masculine for me but um i'll list the notes for you guys i know i don't usually do that in vlogs but since i really can't pick out the notes in this fragrance i will list them in this video for you so that's the first thing that i got and i'm excited to give that to my husband the other thing is the lipstick case and refill so that's how it comes packaged so this is like, it look, almost looks like an eyeglass holder, but you open this up and then inside is lipstick or the lipstick case. So all their lipsticks um, are available as refills and then you can put them in whatever case that, they, that you like from them. Hopefully that's showing up good on camera, but it's really nice. It feels very well done. Don't pay attention to my nails, guys. I'm doing my nails tonight. They look horrible. <laughs> but it feels very solid very well done again it has the batman logo on it which actually looks really nice um i actually like this packaging better than like the feminine fragrance and i could see like a big batman fan loving this oh the lipstick is not in there i'm like wait where's the lipstick <laughs> so here's the lipstick here so this is the batman limited edition lipstick and that's what the color looks like. Sorry, I don't know why my camera is not really focusing well today. There we go. So that's what the lipstick color looks like. So uh, let me figure out how to put this in the case. Okay, that was easy enough. So it's in there. So now the top can go on. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's line her up. I'm not going to try it on because obviously I'm not wearing makeup, so it's kind of pointless. Okay, so this is kind of a satin finished lipstick. It is a really pretty color, like a deep red. Um, I guess it's like more like a burgundy, I guess. That's really pretty though. It is a satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not too glossy and too shiny. And it's 
mainly opaque there's i mean there's a little bit of see-throughness <laughs> of it but it looks pretty opaque so i think i will be able to rock this so i will hopefully be wearing this in an upcoming video so thank you to the house of siage for sending me both of these items i'm excited to play around with them let me put this away and wipe off this swatch and then i will show y'all my next package so my next package is from Matt Collection and these are the swimsuits that I told y'all I purchased on my last vlog. So they came really quickly. Apparently they're located in Georgia so the shipping was pretty quick. And then later on tonight after I take a shower I will try them on and I'll come back and let y'all know which ones work. I will not be trying them on on camera but I'll let you guys know like what I think of them after I try them on but we're just kind of just going to look at them together right now and kind of feel the quality by hand. So the first one is this. This is a three piece set and I love the color. So it comes with this bra. I will, um, I'll try to insert pictures for y'all of each one of these, but it's kind of like changing the color on my camera. It's kind of a neon orange, it's really pretty. So it comes with that bra and then it comes with these shorts, which are the actual like swim shorts. So this is the swimsuit these two pieces and then it also comes with a oversized button-up shirt that you can wear like as a cover-up on the top which I thought was really cute so I'm excited to try that on because I think this will be a really good bathing suit for me to wear um, when I go out of town which is coming up very very soon <laughs> so hopefully these work <laughs> because I'll be with my kids so I like to you know be somewhat modest in a bathing suit so that was the first one. I picked all these up. Well, I think I picked them all up in a size extra large. But when I list them down below, I'll list what size I got too. So um, the second one, now this one feels definitely thinner. And I kind of expected that because it is just like a very, you know, nothing bathing suit. <laughs> just a string bikini so very basic I'm hoping this fits but it looks kind of small honestly and this is an extra large so I got that and I picked and it came with these bottoms which look to be very cheeky and this was definitely inspired by um Keiko Beauty did a Skims swim try on haul and she tried on this cobalt blue bikini and of course they're sold out because I went to the website I wanted to buy one <laughs> But of course they're sold out and I keep, I put my name on the list to be notified, but who knows when that'll happen. So I picked this up instead. So we'll see how it works. And then it also came with these pants as a cover up. So this three piece set came all together. And again, these pants look pretty small. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit these. Like they, the bottom, like the legs look way too small for me. They are stretchy, but I have big legs. So we'll see if that works. If not, Matt Collection does allow returns within, I think, 14 days. But I will be trying these on tonight. So next up is another two-piece set. It's a one-piece bathing suit. And then it comes with a cover-up. So this is the bathing suit. It is one piece, but it has the cutouts there. Really nice. This one caught my eye when I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> you know how you get the Instagram ad so yeah I knew I wanted this one so hopefully this works for me I feel like sometimes one pieces can be tricky especially with cutouts because they have to fit you like lengthwise in the torso um and I think I have a shorter torso I don't know but I feel like my legs are longer than average for my height meaning my torso is shorter than average but anyway I didn't show y'all the cover up but it is just this little short sarong that you tie up next is just a cover-up that i bought all by itself um, but this is just a long you're not gonna be able to see this it's a long like open duster like that i think it's the same print as the other bathing suit cover-up yeah it is it's the same print as the pants, but this is just a long open duster that I can wear over a bathing suit. I could actually wear it like just outside too, but <laughs> um, I wore it, I bought it specifically to wear with a bathing suit and it does have a tie waist. All right, next up is 
a another bikini set so this one again has the string top but the bottoms on this is different so let's see i don't know how this is gonna work because i feel like it may accentuate my fupa <laughs> but this is what it looks like so this is the bottom and then it has this additional part here so it'll probably look better when y'all see it on the model <laughs> like if when i pop it up you'll understand what it looks like but i'm a little nervous about this but i went ahead and picked it up because it was on like clearance so i felt like if i wanted to try it this would be the time to try it because it may go out of stock and then i picked up another um a cover up this one was also on clearance too it's just white it's the same as the blue one i just showed you it's just the white version hey chloe okay, me. mommy ordered some swimsuits so i was opening them up what because i needed some more swimsuits so this is the last piece this is actually from a collection they did with megan good but it's a bright pink y'all know i love my bright pink Color may not show up right because it is kind of like neon pink, but it's a one piece with cutouts again. <laughs> this, <laughs> hopefully y'all can see what that looks like, but the straps are like regular like bra straps. So I'm hoping this will fit as well. It looks like, like the cups look big enough. So I'm hoping that will fit. And that is it for my little matte collection haul. Like I said, I'll try these on tonight and then I'll come back either tonight or maybe tomorrow, whenever. I'll come back and let you guys know like what I think so far. But as of just like first impressions, they feel like good quality swimsuits. They don't feel cheap. Like I have ordered a, a bathing suit before from like Shein and it actually felt cheap. <laughs> um, but I've also ordered one from Shein and really liked it. So, you know, who knows? But um, they don't feel cheap. They feel like big, like good swimwear. Um, so hopefully they work out. So I will check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup um, to film some videos. And I think I'm gonna use some of my new products. So I figure I might as well turn the camera on. So I've already like washed my face and everything. I'm gonna start out with foundation. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is in the shade Caracas. I have this in two shades. I have Cadiz and Caracas. Cadiz is upstairs right now, which is lighter. Uh, but I think I got a tan, so I'm going to use Caracas today. And I know this is not the popular way to apply foundation, but with this particular foundation, I like to apply it. Oh, messed up, guys. I messed up. See, I get off task when I... <laughs> I get off task when I turn the camera on. But I like to use these Tinted Glow Booster Serums. Um, this here is like a um, highlighting fluid. I like to use these in combination with this foundation. Uh, I came on unprepared today, y'all. But anyway, this is what I'm going to use today. This one is in the shade Tangisi. Tangsi. So this is the lighter one that I have. And I just usually pump a little bit in my fingertip with the foundation and kind of rub it together. And then I just apply it with my fingers. I know... The fingers is not like the easiest way to apply foundation because, well, it's easy, but you know, it, um, it's messy, but I feel like a lot of NARS face complexion products apply really well with the fingertips. And that's how Francois NARS actually recommends applying most of his stuff. So I don't mind using my fingers. It's quick. It gives me a more natural coverage with this foundation and I find that when I use a brush with this particular foundation it can kind of make me look a little bit more cakey because it's much more matte and much more full coverage if I use a brush as opposed to my hands. I use it with the beauty blender too sometimes if I just don't feel like getting my hands dirty but most times I use it with my hands that's my preferred way so that's not new. Um, one new product that I have, I've been using it for the past couple days, so this is the Dior. What is going on with my camera? There's some setting I messed up on my camera, and it's not focusing well, but anyway, I got to figure that out. Anyway, this is the Dior Backstage Concealer, and this is in the shade 4W. I like this so far, but I don't know that I love it. I feel like I wish it was a little bit more, I don't know golden 
I feel like it almost looks a little bit too beige, even though this is one of the warm shades. I kind of wish it was more of a golden color. But anyway, I am going to use this brush to pat that in. This is by the brand Kalin or Kalin. Really old brush, but still does a job. <laughs> so I figured while I'm getting ready, we could talk about those swimsuits. I tried them on all last night. And I didn't feel like coming back on last night because I was just too tired. I had other stuff to do. I had to do my nails and stuff. So I didn't come back on last night to tell y'all about them. But they all pretty much worked. Um, I'll insert some pictures as I talk about each specific one. Because um, there were pluses and minuses to all of the ones that, um, I'm, that I got. So the orange one with the shorts. I really like that when it fit well. I probably could have sized down in that. The only thing I will say is it is super bright, like neon orange. So that could be a problem for some people. It's not for me, but it was quite bright. But also I felt like the shorts, um, they seemed a little bit thin. Like not super thin, but they did seem a little bit thinner and less, um, I don't want to say tight, but less compression. <laughs> than like a regular bathing suit. So I probably just got the wrong size. I did get an extra large, I think, in all of the bathing suits because like in clothes, if there's a small, medium, large, I'm usually a large, but in bathing suits, I usually will err on the side of caution because I find that with a lot of bathing suits, especially the tops, they're cut. Well, for me, it seems like they are cut kind of small and my breasts are big. It may not look like it. I mean, it probably does, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes y'all only see me from here up, but I wear a size, the only women are watching this, right? I wear a size 36 triple D and like the way that mine are shaped, I just feel like it's kind of hard for me to find things to fit up top. And I have gained weight, but even when I was smaller, I was wearing a 34 triple D since having kids, which not my ideal fun guys <laughs> it's not my ideal fun <laughs> I would much rather go back to my smaller chest that I had like pre-children I had a small I was always pear-shaped so I always had a smaller top a bigger bottom but I just wish these would go down because I feel like they actually make me look bigger even when I lose weight they still I don't know anyway that's not what we're here to talk about we're talking about the swimsuits right so basically that's why i typically will size up on a bathing suit um so yeah so we talked about the orange one what's next guys i don't know why i thought i was gonna be able to multitask talk to y'all and do my makeup like come on Alicia. who do you think you are um i think for bronzer today what do i want to wear I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty <laughs> Beige and Gal. I don't know why I act like I wasn't gonna wear this. I wear this pretty much every day. But um, yeah, so that was that one. There was a cobalt blue bikini that I really liked, but and it when I showed it to y'all, it comes in like a three-piece set, so it came with the pants. So I really liked it, but on the website, you can't see the bottoms. I figured they were very like smallly cut, and I was correct they are almost to the level of thong in the back not quite um but they are quite cheeky um so but i didn't wear i didn't buy that bathing suit to wear around my kids that's more so if i get to go on a vacation which probably is not happening i said vacation bae cation which is probably not gonna happen but if me and my husband do like a pool day at home when the kids are not here or something then you know it'll be fun for that um the pants that went with that they fit surprisingly but they were really long so but they did fit i didn't think they would but they did fit so um for my blush i'm going to use this patrick ta blush this is in the shade do we know her and on his website or on sephora he suggests using the powder first and then going over top with the bron with the cream so that's what we're gonna try so let's see so that actually showed up more than i thought it would Hopefully y'all can see this on camera. I can definitely see it in person and it doesn't look like on here. It looks kind of more chalky like when you swatch it. But on the face, it doesn't look chalky at all. I really like that color. So for the cream portion, I'm going to use this brush from Sigma. It's a F15 Duo Fiber. It's like a stippling brush. 
it is not completely clean y'all <laughs> but i've only used it once since i washed it so we're gonna go with this it's nothing is rubbing off on it so hopefully it's good um but we're gonna just use that to apply over it okay um it doesn't look as dewy as i thought because when you when i rub my fingers in the cream it feels quite dewy it is quite pigmented though so let me try to blend this out a little bit because that actually gave me more than i thought it would it's really good color payoff on this okay i like that it gives me kind of this rosy glow this is kind of more blush than what i typically wear but i really like it because if you want to take this like out of town or something you could kind of have three blush colors in one one you could either wear the cream by itself or you can wear the powder with the cream on top like what i'm doing or you can just wear the powder by itself so i like that so so far so good i like the texture it doesn't look weird even though it's cream on top of powder and yeah we are looking good right now sorry i had to turn down my lights on my mirror because my camera is over it's like getting too hot probably because it's sitting in front of the lights i probably should move that but anyway let's keep going um next up i'm just going to do my brows and my mascara um but anyway what i was saying about the bathing suits what else the one that i did not like was the white bikini it was like with the triangle top but the bottoms i told y'all i was a little bit scared about because it may accentuate my fat <laughs> on my like my love handle area and it definitely did unfortunately that was one that was final sale um because it was on clearance so i probably should have looked at that before i purchased it but yeah it was final sale because it was on clearance so i can't return it but i don't really like it but i will probably i'll either keep it or give it to a friend i mean i've only i tried it on with underwear so whatever i might give it to a friend or i might keep it because it does fit it's just not flattering to me but we get in a pool a lot around here and Sometimes I just need some backup bathing suits that fit. Nothing was falling out. It didn't look too risque. It just wasn't flattering. Um, what else? The cover-ups, I did like like the long cover-ups. But one thing to note about them is that they were really long. Like so long that I wonder if I should get them him. Like do they pose a risk? <laughs> because they're so long. I'm only, I'm just under five foot four. So I'm not tall at all. So I think if you're tall, they will work out really well because they won't be dragging the ground too much. On me, they drag the ground, but it doesn't look bad. I'm just scared that like my clumsy self will trip on the, over them. So I might get them him, but I might not. Probably I won't. Let's just be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I just felt like I should mention that. And then the one piece bathing suit, so the green one and the pink one, they were made pretty much the same and they both fit well they did kind of bunch up a little bit on the torso sorry i'm acting like y'all can see me but right here they kind of bunched up a little bit but when i tighten the straps because the straps are fully adjustable when i tighten the straps that definitely decreased it and it didn't look bad at all and yeah so overall it was a good experience because buying bathing suits online to me is always super risky um and overall they felt pretty high quality the only one that i say felt kind of thinner than normal were the bottoms the short bottoms but the top of that one felt really high quality um so i don't know why the bottoms didn't feel better but maybe it, like i said it is because maybe i bought a size too large and i should have just went with my normal like clothing size on that because then I feel like it would have been more compressing. Like I don't think it would have looked tight, too tight or anything like that. It probably would have just felt like it was holding me in more. But yeah. Alright, so all that's left are lips. What do I want to wear on my lips today? Hmm. I think I might try my new Gucci lipstick. I have not worn it yet. Just patting off my chapstick that I had on. But this is my Gucci lipstick. This is in the shade uh love before breakfast i like that name <laughs> but it is like this beautiful pink shade i love this color so we'll we shall see i've swatched it on my hand in my video when i haul this but i haven't actually worn it on my lips yet so
okay looks good i like it i like this color it is kind of a deeper fuchsia um so i feel like this is actually going to even though it's super bright it's bright and a little bit deep i don't know how to explain it it's almost like it has a deeper undertone but the shade itself looks bright that makes no sense <laughs> but i think this is going to work i really really like this color and it's actually looking like i don't even feel like i need a liner with it so yeah there's my look for right now i'm going to go ahead and film these videos and i'll check in with y'all later so i've changed clothes and changed my lipstick and get ready to film my next video i'm trying to film three videos today <laughs> so i've changed clothes and changed lipstick but i had to come on because this lipstick is popping i am loving it this is one of my new lipsticks as well it's over there i don't feel like getting up and get it because i have my microphone connected so i don't want to move <laughs> But it is the KVD Beauty A Go Go color. It's one of their liquid everlasting love liquid lipsticks. I mean, this orange is the truth. Initially, when I got it, I thought it may be too like bright, but on my lips, I mean, this is this melanin is popping with this orange on y'all. I love this. I find that oranges can be hard sometimes because sometimes they lean a little bit too red and I like more of a pure orange and this is giving. This is giving. I'm feeling very fam you -ish right now with my green shirt on and my orange lipstick and my orange nails. <laughs> Loving. Anyway, let me film my video. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night and I'm getting ready to pop open a bottle of wine, not champagne, <laughs> a bottle of wine because we are going to do a little unboxing together. So let me turn y'all around. So the wine I'm going to be opening tonight is this one. It's called Belle Rose Mediterranean Rosé. I picked this up at Total Wine today. I've never tried it, but I like the bottle. So this is what we're drinking tonight. And I have to show all these glasses. They're super pretty. I picked these up the other day from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of those. But they are like green tone. Really cute. They are not plastic because usually when I see like colored glasses in those kind of places, they're actually like plastic outdoor glasses. These are real. I looked for them on, the other day on the website and I did not see them, but I did see some on Amazon. They were a different color, the same brand. Um, but if they're still available, I'll link those for you guys. But let me get into this wine. So as I said, we have a little unboxing to do. So I got my wine and I'm so excited. This is a fashion file unboxing and it's one that I feel like it's a bag that it's been on my wish list for at least, I feel like 10 years, but I never knew like what size I wanted. I used to want a larger size. I'm glad I didn't end up going with that. And then over the last like five years, I've wanted a smaller one, but it's not a popular bag anymore. And so I'm kind of like, I don't know if I should buy it. Is it out? But I still love it after all these years. And so I have just been keeping my eye on Fashion File, trying to find one in a color that spoke to me. And this color spoke to me. Like I have been looking for a bag that's color, but didn't really know what I wanted. So. Let's get into it. So there we are. They gave me a calendar, but I already have one of these, but um, I'm surprised they're still sending send out calendars this late. Usually they only send them out like January, February. And then this is my fashion file receipt. Got my file, which I love these. All right, and here we have the Fashion File dust bag. <sighs> Moment of truth. I'm always a little bit nervous with Fashion File unboxings, not because of Fashion File, but just because it is a pre-owned bag and you never know, like I've never seen the bag in person. So it's my first time opening it. And here she is. The color is perfection. So this is the Celine Nano. Uh, Celine Luggage Nano. Is that right? <laughs> Why do I not know the name now? I've literally worn this bag for like a decade. But I love this color. I've been waiting 
for a color to pop up that I like, that a price is right. These are really well priced on Fashion File because they don't hold their value, unfortunately, which is why I wanted to go the pre-love route. Um, and the grain ones, especially, they lose their shape, especially in the larger sizes. The smaller ones seem to hold their shape better, like this one. Um, so I'm not really concerned. But this one is a smooth leather, so it should hold its shape pretty well. Um, from reviews and stuff I've seen, I just think like it feels very like sturdy. So let's look it over. I think this was listed as very good condition. Uh, I don't think it says it on here, but it's the smooth calfskin nano luggage. I'll have to link the actual bag that I purchased, but I feel like it was a really good price. Yeah, so there is a little bit of like rubbing right here where the strap goes, which is common with bags. Yeah, it's on the other side too. But really, other than that, this looks pretty darn good. Even that where the rubbing is, it doesn't look bad at all. It's literally just right around there. I don't know if y'all can tell. I had to turn my lights on um, because it's nighttime. But the handles look really good too because I know sometimes handles can get cracking. Um, but these look really good. This is my first Celine item. Well, actually, I have a pair of shades, but I don't have any bags for Celine. So, of course, it comes with the strap that should be able to be crossbody. I'm not going to show y'all my shots on me today because honestly, I'm wearing a nightgown. <laughs> we keeping it 100 around here, okay? <laughs> But yeah, I am so happy. This looks so good. If you never purchased anything from Fashion File, you know that you can return it as long as this is still attached. And I think within like 30 days. I'm not sure of the days, but this has to be attached. If you cut the tag, it is yours. You can then sell it back to them if you'd like for a not the same amount of money but i feel like their sell back price is pretty quick and in my experience i have sold back a bag that i had for like a few months that just didn't work out for me i never showed it to y'all so don't worry about it but <laughs> they got me like as soon as they got the item they inspected it like that same day and the money was credited to my account like that same day and i then used this money to purchase this bag so well for some of it it looks really good on the inside yeah, this definitely looks like an excellent condition, not very good, but I don't know. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, the biggest part that I would say is right here where the, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's just some darkening right here where the strap would hit the metal, which happens with bags. I love it. This size looks perfect. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I don't think it, I guess it didn't come with a Celine dust bag. All right, so I love her. I cannot wait to put my stuff in her. I will do that tomorrow. I don't know if I'll show y'all, but I'm definitely carrying this bag like this week. So I'm sure I will pop the tag tomorrow, but I will sleep on it. It looks so good though. So good. And the color is absolutely perfect. This is floral orange, um, like fluorescent orange which I was a little bit nervous about because I didn't know how neon it would be, but this looks like the perfect, the perfect orange, like perfect. Yes, I love it, guys. All right, I just had to share my little unboxing with you all. I'll stop gushing over the bag, but I'm super happy with it. And I'll have to keep y'all updated, but as of right now, I think this is going to be a keeper. There is a little bit of like discoloration down here where because they don't have feet on this bag where it would sit down on the table but it's just on the bottom and it's not all the way across the bottom it's just like here so i'm still good with that yes okay i think this is the keeper anyway i may close this vlog out here it depends on how much footage i have and how long it is i don't want it to be super long but if not then i'll see y'all later on in the same vlog so yeah Hey y'all, so it's been a couple of days, but I wanted to come on real quick just to show you guys some mod shots and then we're ending this vlog. <laughs> but this is what the bag looks like. I did decide to keep it tagged up and popped. I wore it yesterday for the first time, wearing it again today, but I will be carrying it mainly handheld. However, the strap does fit me crossbody, so I will show that to y'all, but this is my preferred way to wear it. If you're familiar with these bags, you know that the straps, the handles are really small and that's one of the uh downsize for some people it's not for me because i don't plan on wearing it like this but it's really hard if you wanted to carry it like on your forearm and my arms i mean they're not tiny but they're not the biggest arms either so 
yeah, that's how it will look on my forearm, but I don't plan on carrying it like that. So this is how it looks on me crossbody. This strap is not adjustable, so I think that's important to note. I'm about five foot, just under five foot four, but I have seen this on taller ladies and it looks amazing on them. This is like the lowest that I typically like to wear my crossbody. So for me, this is still good, but typically I wear my crossbodies around this area. <laughs> But to me, this is still like really good. And I think this will work for a lot of different heights. Uh, if you're shorter than me, I don't know. But you could always switch out the strap. Not that y'all are shopping for this bag. This is a vlog. <laughs> but <laughs> you could always switch out the strap. But for me, this will be how I wear it when I wear it crossbody. And then, of course, you can always wear it just on the shoulder. I typically never wear my bags like that because I don't really find it to be comfortable to wear a long strap like in any of my bags. It just feels like it's always going to like slide off. Um, so typically, I don't wear my bags like that, but that's definitely an option as well. See how low it hits me doing that way. And yeah, I got all my stuff in there. It's got plenty of space for me. It's a small bag, but it's big enough for the stuff that I carry. So I'm loving it thus far. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share those quick little mod shots with y'all. I'm going to go. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.